people are mad. People are freaking out. <laughs> So Disney's decided to make The Little Mermaid black, and people are upset by this because, I mean, this is an old story, it dates back to 1837, and uh, we can't go changing it. We'll mess with tradition if we do that. Let's recap that story from 1837 real quick. So when a mermaid turns 15, she gets to go up to the surface. When our little mermaid does that, of course, she runs into a prince, she saves him. He never sees her though, has no idea a mermaid saved him, but she falls in love with him. She goes down and tells the sea witch the story and the sea witch is like, fine, I got you. Don't worry about it, I give you legs, but I'm gonna take your voice. Oh, and your tongue. And when you walk, it's gonna feel like you're getting stabbed and your feet are going to bleed constantly. But don't worry, all you have to do is win his heart. Of course, if you don't, you're gonna die of a broken heart and dissolve into sea foam. And he marries a princess, not her. So she's sitting there on the beach waiting to die, and her sisters show up. They're bald because uh, they just traded their hair to the sea witch to get a knife. They give this knife to the little mermaid, and all she has to do is go and kill the prince. Then everything goes back to normal, except for, I mean, like him being dead. Uh, but she can't do that. She's a good person, so she dives off of the... Uh, the ship dies and dissolves into sea foam. But luckily, she becomes a spirit of sorts, and basically, all she has to do is do good deeds for the next 300 years, and she'll get to go to heaven. And that is why mermaids help sailors. Crazy. Uh, that's not the story most people know, is it? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't harken back to the tradition of 1837 when the actual tradition you're talking about started in 1989. <laughs> um, there have been a lot of changes to this story over the years. Skin tone would be the least of them. Would be the least of them. Uh, that doesn't really seem like a really big deal. It's funny because the theme is give up that identity. Give up that identity of your race. Mermaids. I'm guessing that the people that are mad about this didn't really learn much from this story. <laughs> the one positive theme in it is giving up the uh, these illusions that these things make us different, that these things matter. That's the one positive aspect of the story. I mean, deep down, this is a messed up story, but that's the one good piece, letting go of the racial separations. But we can't do that. And in fact, we're going to call back to the tradition of this story to say we can't do that. That's pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up. We could probably learn a lot from a black little mermaid. <laughs>